As always, I promise to keep my videos short and sweet because we all have lives to get to. And while I'm jacked on caffeine, let's get into some MindMed news because MindMed has just announced a $10 million bot deal for equity financing to help fund its research and collaboration with the University of Basel, which will help expand the availability to continue its research in LSD for adult ADHD and anxiety. So MindMed has announced that it has entered into an agreement with 8 Capital, in which 8 Capital has agreed to purchase, as sole book runner and lead underwriter, 18.8 million shares of MindMed. And this purchase, of course, is subject to all required regulatory approvals, as well as the NEO exchange, at a price per unit of 53 cents Canadian, which for gross proceeds will come to just a little over $10 million. MindMed has agreed to grant the underwriters an option, though, to purchase up to an additional 15% of its shares at the issue price I mentioned earlier, which are exercisable in whole or in part, meaning that they can buy whatever percentage they choose within the next 30 days following the closing of the offering on June 5th. If this option is exercised in full, though, an additional approximately 1.5 million will be raised and bring the total funding round to 11.5 million dollars and change. Each unit is comprised of one subordinate voting share of the company and a half a warrant. So each warrant entitles the holder to purchase one subordinate voting share and exercise the price of 79 cents for a period of 24 months on the closing of the offering on June 5th, meaning that if they choose to exercise that at the time, they're purchasing it now at 53 cents, but when they exercise their warrants, they will receive 79 cents per share, which is good because it locks in a psychological barrier for the value of each share, bringing it up from its initial value of, uh, during the RTO, I believe, was 0.33 cents per share. So following the closing of the offering, the daily volume weighted average price of the subordinate voting shares, god damn, that's a mouthful, on the NEO exchange, if it is equal to or greater than $1.15, or $1.13, pardon me, in the next two years, they will be able to exercise that. So with this new funding in these crazy times in the markets and this rapid fluctuations, this gives them a little bit of stability and this financial backing will help them to not only stay afloat, uh, it will also help them to continue their research and expansion on their drug pipeline with LSD and other things. So I look forward to seeing how this unfolds within the next two years. And I'm really thankful that this has locked in new psychological barriers for investors willing to put in money above the initial 33 cents. But let me know how you guys feel. Comments, positives, negatives, whatever, shoot them my way. Until then, peace.